How's it going guys, Vatmaf here and welcome back to another video. So in today's video we're talking about the LG Velvet once again, LG's newest series of mid-range smartphones and this time we've got some more videos on the smartphone and the last time I made a video about this it did really well on the channel so I thought I'd cover this as well. So getting into the video straight away, we see it's a 35 second clip from LG themselves talking about the design of the smartphone. Let's go ahead and make this full screen and we see this raindrop that will slowly turn into the smartphone itself and give you guys the main essence of the LG Velvet design. So let's go ahead and pause the video right here. As we can see, this is a pretty much the overall design of the LG Velvet with the raindrop inspired camera design. So we've got a primary sensor, a second one, a third one and the LED flash. Now as you can see you can also see the curves of the smartphone which LG likes to call the 3D arc design. Supposedly this will make the smartphone easier to hold in the hand. But uh, we're gonna play this video and go through most of it. As you can see this is a nice color. It reminds me of the new OnePlus color that we've seen, um, Interstellar and also the note series color that we've seen the aura glow so i think lg is taking some inspiration from other manufacturers as well now this is a mid-range smartphone at the end of the day so it's going to have the snapdragon 765 octa-core processor which will have support for 5g so this will have 5g support but it's going to be a mid-range smartphone at the end of the day and what we can expect from the camera is a 48 megapixel primary sensor that's what i'm hearing from rumors but not only that if you go ahead and look at the design carefully we've got this power button which obviously is to power on the device but if you look at the other side of the phone by pausing the video right here you can see the volume rockers and another button at the bottom edge which shows that this might be a dedicated button for some sort of voice assistant or some sort of action and this is something that is new and I think this is the approach that LG wants to take with a dedicated power button when more and more manufacturers are now moving away from a dedicated button altogether as you can see these are the antenna lines and the phone looks really refined it reminds me sort of of the Galaxy S3 that was sort of inspired by this smooth pebble finish if you remember and I think LG is going for that sort of design with the velvet once again the amazing looking color and you can see the buttons more vividly now i'm gonna wait and see if we get a bottom edge shot here um no this is the top edge shot so you can see the microphone as well as the sim tray and it says slim and sleek um something in Korean I'm guessing so I can't understand this language more phone shots and this is a very important part of the video so this shows off the front of the phone so according to the leaks and rumors I'm hearing this display is going to be a 6.7 to a 6.9 inch display which to me sounds a bit too big and considering what we were hearing from LG and them focusing on smaller smartphones this goes against that rumor but as we can see there's a single camera at the center of the phone now I don't know if this is a hole punch style design or whether or not we're gonna see this sort of notch on the screen that's something that we can't yet figure out and we'll only be able to once we see the screen display sort of on or once we see the phone in real life but that's something to keep in mind other than that, we're expecting a 4000 milliamp hour battery on the phone and we're also expecting Type-C USB as well as a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. So as you can see, the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack right there, Type-C USB as well as speakers. We're expecting dual stereo speakers on the smartphone. And this, I think, is the entire array of smartphones confirming the 765 5G processor from Qualcomm as well. So these will be the different colors of the LG Velvet. And if you go ahead and sort of finish off the video we're gonna see it end with there there you go okay finally we see the screen and there is the u-shaped notch so it's not a hole punch notch it's a u-shaped notch 19th of april which is supposedly today i mean this is what the video was aimed for and you can see the entire design right there so i mean this is an interesting concept and people are saying that this mid-range smartphone will also support things like a dual screen mode so if you don't know what a dual screen mode is lg is renowned for doing this dual screen where you can attach a second screen to their flagship smartphone this works with the lg g8x thin q so i think what the lg velvet will do is support that to sort of give you this extended um, experience and I think that's a great move from LG but I'm more excited to see uh, what LG does about their flagship lineup with this sort of design because I think the design looks pretty good and once I see it in person I'm gonna get a more of a feel for it but as far as what we've seen so far I think it looks great 
LG does have to work on its marketing as well as its pricing in the UAE as well as in the world rather. And let's see what they can come up with in the next couple of weeks when we're starting to um, sort of hear about this phone more and more. And once again when it becomes official, I think May 15th is the date to watch out for. So stay tuned for that. I don't know if I'm gonna get the phone, I probably won't. but. I'll probably react to it once it becomes official and once we know more about the specifications of the smartphone. But I think that about sums up the LG Velvet 4000 mAh battery, 6.7 inch display, it's probably a full HD plus display uh, with the U-shaped notch, front camera, the teardrop design, the 3D arc design for the entire smartphone, um, support for the dual screen mode and the Snapdragon 765 processor on board. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about the phone down in the comments. Is this LG's resurgence? I don't really know, but I sure do wish there are more man 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 manufacturers that actually get into um, the smartphone lineup because nowadays it's more concentrated to Samsung, LG, uh, Samsung, Huawei, Apple, and that's about it when you compare like the main ones. There is Oppo as well, but I'd like to see LG get into the foray as well and see what they can offer and maybe a competitive price tag and sort of revive the company and revive the smartphone um, sector in the company. So yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Make sure you subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching. This was Vapov and I'll see you in the next one. Adios.